Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Sachs, and I'm here with Teresa Schmidt. We're Hi. both from Sachs Wellness Center. And we've been getting together to talk about topics that have been coming up and hoping that we're sharing some information that would be helpful for you. We were just talking a little bit about a commercial that we've been watching that kind of ticks us off, <laughs> actually. Um, and it's the recent commercial that maybe a lot of you have seen um, about the shingles vaccine. And so um, we just thought we'd talk a little bit about some of the messages coming through that 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 we think are maybe contrary to a wellness approach, mm -hmm. you know, to, to being sure. healthy. So, sure. um, so kind of help me go through this. Mm -hmm. But what I remember mm -hmm. is I see a guy running and he's stopping to tie a shoe, I think. And then the message is, it doesn't matter if you exercise, shingle doesn't care. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe there, what, there, there were other when, things. There was one, I go out and get fresh air, shingles doesn't care. So it was eating, I think it was eating right, oh yeah, part of it was like, I eat my vegetables, and then the message comes across, shingles doesn't care. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's the message, is that the healthy eating, the healthy exercise, the healthy things that we're trying to do for ourselves doesn't matter. That's yeah. the it's message so, I'm getting. So misleading. It. it is very misleading. Shingles cares very much, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shingles. Because um, it's a virus mm -hmm. in our body. And just like any virus or any bacteria, we have the ability, we have an innate ability mm -hmm. with our immune system to beat that mm -hmm. if we keep that immune system healthy. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. The, the virus can only express itself, take hold, if our immune system isn't strong enough to keep it down. Mm -hmm. And we, our natural immune system does so much better than, than anything else. So, yeah. so keeping our own immune system by eating well, by drinking our water, by getting exercise, by going outside and getting some fresh air and some vitamin D when, when we can, mm -hmm. is the foundation of our immune system. Yeah. So to to infer that uh, a, a disease or a virus or bacteria doesn't take any of that into account when mm -hmm. it's trying to take hold is, is misleading, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Yeah. And, and it's, it's obviously a way to get people to feel like it doesn't matter what I do. I'm defenseless. You know, I, I have nothing that I can, you know, myself, I need this outside thing to, you know, to, to do it because I can't do it myself. And um, nothing could be further from the truth. It's, yeah. it's really an unfair thing. I, I, you know, there is this truth in advertising, and I don't know why they get away with this. Yeah, but. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I mean, maybe it's because it's an opinion and free speech. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure where this falls, but, but I do feel like it's very misleading. But the natural levels of... Uh, nutrients in our body um, help the immune system to function properly and um, there are things that our immune system does to actually attack an invader like a mm -hmm. virus or a bacteria mm -hmm. there are things that our immune system is able to do to stop its ability to replicate mm -hmm. and these are all the things that our body was meant to do, mm -hmm. you know, is actually designed to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, depending on your belief system, and I say this a lot, we've been on this planet for a million years or 10,000 years or whatever you believe. A long so, time. A anyway. long time. <laughs> and so we have, we have survived all this time in the form we are because of our immune system. Mm -hmm. so, so it's designed to do this. And so... It doesn't make sense that we need an outside source in mm -hmm. order to be healthy, yeah. to keep healthy, to keep invaders away. It doesn't even logically make sense if you take a step back. Yeah. So. And um, this is something that I kind of feel about all vaccines, and that's that <clears throat> the reason that these things are invented or discovered or mm -hmm. developed is because so many people have not been taking care of their health. You know, that's mm -hmm. something with mm -hmm. particularly the, what we'll call the more modern era. If we say the last 50, 75, maybe mm -hmm. 100 years, our food supplies have become less nutrient dense. Yes. You know? yes. Um, our habits, because of the way that things are um, processed, 
and how easy it is to get a package of something. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So we have weakened our immune systems. Mm -hmm. And and maybe, you know, there I could even give some leeway for people that have suffered some uh, debilitating problem that they need something to protect them in the short run. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, it's not an answer. Right. It's a Band-Aid. Right. You know, it's, right. it's a thing, okay, um, to stop you from getting something really bad, we'll, we'll do this right now. Mm -hmm. you know, but. but if you wouldn't need that, if you did the underlying work exactly. of, of yeah. keeping your immune system strong. So inferring that everybody, none of that matters, and inferring that everybody needs this other thing to be okay is, I, I feel like that's the wrong message yeah. to help people be as healthy as they can be. And what is even more frustrating to me, and I'm sure you too, is that these kinds of things are actually sometime referred to as a wellness approach mm -hmm. like I'm being mm -hmm. proactive mm -hmm. no you're not being proactive mm -hmm. you would be proactive if you did some things to make your body allow your body give your body what it needs mm -hmm. to function in a way that is superior actually yeah. to to yeah. what can be done because you know the thing is is even if you get a vaccine and it helps you in that short run as it's designed to do it will only help you for that one particular thing that you have taken that, you know, if you take a shingles vaccine and it has some help to you, it doesn't make your immune system stronger. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you better able to handle the next virus that comes along mm -hmm. or the next bacteria. Mm -hmm. But making your immune system stronger does. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and we have a way to teach our body to handle things, but we need to use it. Mm -hmm. It's like exercising a muscle. We need to exercise our immune system. So if we're constantly using antibacterial soap or unfortunately the, the things that we are asked to use all the time, that actually can undermine our body learning this new thing and how does it adapt to protect us from it. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we don't want to have the help be worse than what you'd be dealing with in the first place. Yeah. We need our bodies to learn so that over time, our immune system is stronger and stronger and stronger. And, and it's actually more educated. It yeah, actually learns. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's exactly. actually learning. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. so anyway. So we hope that uh, this little conversation was um, inspiring and helpful mm -hmm. and, Thoughtful. and and maybe um, gives you a little boost to do some things about your immune system because... Um, if you're somebody that um, is not in some serious health condition right now, you have an incredible opportunity. Um, so um, deal with what you can. And if we can be of any help, please give us a call. 989-732-7000. Or you can go to our website at www.saxwellnesscenter.com.